Hi, I'm John Volker for Green Car Reports, and next to me is the 2018 Toyota Camry Hybrid. More than 10 years ago, Toyota launched a new category when they added their hybrid powertrain into their Camry midsize sedan. Now, there are several midsize hybrid sedans, including the Ford Fusion, the Kia Optima, the Hyundai Sonata, and the Chevrolet Malibu. But the Camry Hybrid remains one of the highest selling versions, and now we have an all new model for 2018. We've had a chance to drive it, to discuss among ourselves where it improves on the last one and where it sits in the greater array of green cars that are available now. There are actually two versions of the 2018 Camry Hybrid. If you want the highest rated fuel economy, go for the base LE trim level. The EPA rates that one at 52 miles a gallon combined. That falls to 46 miles a gallon combined if you upgrade to the sportier SE or the more luxurious XLE versions of the hybrid. Both are heavier and add more features at higher prices. We tested an XLE version earlier this year over 150 miles in Colorado, blending highway, urban, and suburban driving. We confirmed the onboard computer's reading of just over 50 miles a gallon. Not too bad. We like the looks of the new 2018 Camry, which is lower and sleeker, though the electric Razor front end design came in for some criticism by a few editors. The 2018 is about an inch lower than the last generation, and we found that made access to the rear seat a bit more challenging for full-size adults, slightly puzzling in a mid-size sedan that often carries three or four people. The inside isn't as futuristic as the latest Prius hybrid, which is a good thing, it's largely predictable, with knobs for the climate control and sound systems. The 7-inch central touchscreen is bright and crisp, though for 2018, we think there's really no excuse for not including Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. They let a driver safely use a smartphone as a navigation system, not to mention streaming radio and other apps. The Camry Hybrid is powered by a specially tuned 2.5-liter inline-4, paired to an 88-kilowatt electric drive motor, for a total output of 208 horsepower. That's enough to move the Camry Hybrid through traffic without difficulty. The battery pack is now located under the rear seat, meaning there's no more intrusion into trunk space compared to the non-hybrid model. Behind the wheel, the Camry Hybrid clearly handles and holds the road better than its predecessor. That's one of the benefits of all new underpinnings shared with the Prius and other models. It's quiet under most circumstances, although the downside is that it makes engine roar considerably more noticeable under maximum power. But that engine noise is better isolated and more remote than in previous generations of Camry Hybrid, which could get coarse. Back in 2007, when Toyota introduced the Camry Hybrid, either hybrids or natural gas cars were really the greenest alternatives you could buy. 11 years later, things have changed. Now you can buy plug-in cars, both all-electric and plug-in hybrid, including Toyota's own Prius Prime plug-in hybrid, and high-volume electrics like the Nissan LEAF and the newer Chevy Bolt EV. So where does the 2018 Camry Hybrid end up this year? We think it'll be bought by a lot of buyers who treasure what it's always provided, a good, reliable, predictable mid-size sedan that delivers high fuel economy. In this case, the highest fuel economy in its class at 50 miles a gallon. But these days, the Camry Hybrid is simply not as green as it used to be. Whether or not that sways a large number of buyers remains to be determined. For the moment, the Camry Hybrid is what it's always been, a high fuel economy, mid-size sedan. Don't forget to follow Green Car Reports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.